I have to tell you that I love the foliage and the flowers that we have in the Caribbean very much. The reds and the yellows and the purples, it just, when I look at it, it just makes me feel like singing. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. So right here in this foreground, I want to put a few indications of a, a little bit of a croton plant. So I take a darker red, a lighter red, a little bit of yellow, and I'm all loading that up together on my brush. And I want to make some croton here. This sort of grow like this with wavy leaves again, all coming out of the middle. Okay, gone back to my brush for, gone back to the palette for a little yellow, a little white, and letting the brush do all of that work. Now, let's put a few more beside it. This one's a little closer to us, so we're gonna see a little bit more of the details, but you see, I'm just using the brush. You can only learn this by practice. You have to take your brush and your paint and some piece of paper or some canvas and practice this. So I put it down and I lift it up and as I'm lifting up, the color lifts away from the canvas and we get a beautiful presentation of something that looks like a leaf. And when we're done, our eye tells us, oh, that's a leaf. So our eye helps us tremendously when we're trying to um, paint something. Now I want to add a little bit of um, color and a little bit of shadow underneath those croton there. So I'll get a little bit of this purple and the purple just goes down onto the road just below where those crotons are, just a shadow of them. And then, you know, maybe this banana tree has a little shadow as well. There we go. And always on the road, you're going to get some stones. So I remember I showed you with the toothbrush before how to make those stones. I just have this little uh, round brush in hand. So take a little white, take a little yellow, take my fingers and pull the brushes back and put that gravel down on the ground. So there's always a way to do it that's easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this first lesson and we will continue on to make some more wonderful art in this beautiful island of Grenada in the Caribbean.